So a little explanation about this very short video about dog sports. I just want to show you two clips, one of Cookie participating in agility and one of her doing a fast cat, which is like doggy racing. Um, it's a hard, hundred yard dash. Dogs are raced individually and they're timed. Um, both are AKC sanctioned sports. Now, Cookie loves agility, but not necessarily competing in the ring. And she likes it when her and I are just practicing together. Um, and she does well. But she, um, when we tried to compete, uh, I th and I think it was mostly my fault, because I, I was stressed out under the competition and environment. Um, but Cookie loves agility out in the woods. Um, she is very agile and she loves being very athletic out in the woods. If you've watched my videos for any length of time, you would have seen how she is out in the woods, jumping over things and running across logs and all sorts of, uh, of really cool stuff. And sorry, I got to keep looking down. The mosquitoes are getting me. Um, spray a little bit of vinegar and water around, try to keep the mosquitoes off me so I can finish this. Um, so she really loves it out in the woods and, and I do too because there's no pressure you know it's just for fun and when we're practicing and it's just me and her um, she does well and, and and I do pretty good too but if you watched my competition video we like her and I both just were like whoa it was such a stressful environment then we were introduced to fast cat and fast cat was a lot different we went to watch one and we ended up entering that day because the atmosphere at a fast cat was just a whole lot different than at an agility trial. Everybody that was there was having way more fun. I mean, I've been to agility trials and I'm just going to make up some numbers, but you know, if there's a hundred people competing, you know, maybe there's 10 that are having fun. The rest of them are all stressed out and aggravated and they'll sit there and tell you they're having fun, but their body language and their dogs, nobody looks like they're having fun. You know, I've seen some people yelling at their dogs because they've dropped the bar and it was just it was very stressful um but at the fast cat it was just like a lot of hooping and hollering and everybody's having fun i guess because there's not as much pressure to perform um it's just a matter of the dog running and what dog doesn't like to run there are a few so if those same 100 people were at a fast cat event uh, night um you know 90 of them are having fun and only 10 are serious and grumpy and we have seen a few serious grumpy people at fast cat um but the ratio of people just laughing and having a good time at fast cat seems to be way way better than at an agility trial at, at an agility trial and i've went and watched quite a few uh, there's not as much <laughs> of that laughter in fact at an agility trial when i saw dogs do something cute and i kind of giggled i got dirty looks from a lot of people <laughs> you know and he wasn't even in the ring he was outside the ring and they were like what are you laughing about <laughs> so i love agility for the physical and mental exercise i love agility for the teamwork that is established when you do it um, but competing in agility just wasn't for us. I, I couldn't handle it and neither, and apparently neither could Cookie. Because if I can't handle it, then she breaks down because she feels the stress on me. But Fast Cat was totally different. And so what, when, I, when you watch these two clips, I want you to look at Cookie's energy level. I want you to look at her body language. And she's focused and she's listening to me and she's working with me in agility and we're having fun. Her tail is up. She's happy. But when she runs across a dog walk, you can see her kind of lick her lips a little bit, which behaviorists say that that shows a little stress. But, you know, we did it and we had a good time. But then watch her when she's getting ready to do the fast cat. And I want you to see how she's like, oh, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. She's just having a great time and I was too so we do fast cat more now than agility we still do agility for practice but not competition and that's okay um, if you want to compete and you love it and you think I'm wrong that's fine everybody's entitled to their opinion here's the important message if you're gonna do a dog sport do it because the dog loves it not because you love it 
because it's about the dog. So when I realized that Cookie wasn't enjoying agility as much, whether it was because of me or her or what, it didn't matter. I was like, you know what? She's not enjoying this. Why should I keep doing it? Do I want to compete in agility? I actually do. I want to get over my fear of the competition. I want to get over that and I want to compete in agility. But you know what? I, if Cookie doesn't enjoy it, why would I want to force her to do something she doesn't enjoy? When I went to a fast cat and realized how much she'd enjoy it and how fun it was and my husband gets involved with it, he's not happy at agility trials either because he sees all those little signs that you know, that people aren't happy with their dogs or not happy with how they, they ran. But at the Fast Cat, you just run and have fun and, and and it's okay, it's great. So he loves it too. So the three of us all enjoy the Fast Cat better. You know what, it, 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 one's not better or worse than the other. It, it's not right or wrong. It's just, if you're gonna do a dog sport, make sure you pick something that your dog loves. If your dog loves it, do it. If your dog doesn't love it, then don't do it. Because who are you doing it for? Are you doing it for you or are you doing it for the dogs? Do it for the dogs. You're better off, okay? It's all about the dog having fun, all right? And, and promoting your relationship instead of hurting your relationship. Fast Cat promotes our relationship because she's having a great time. Agility, I don't know, you know. Like I said, she, Cookie is incredibly athletic. She is going to outrun, outjump, and outbalance on a skinny skinny I've had her walk balance beams that are only a couple inches wide she's gonna do phenomenal because she has the athletic ability but let's do it out in the woods and do it for fun we don't have to compete we, we don't need to compete to prove our worth we don't need to win a blue ribbon to prove our worth you know or, or that I'm a good trainer or that she's an amazing dog we, we don't need those those ribbons in the agility ring for that I mean every day my dog proves to me that she's amazing you know and, um, and when I have clients say things to me like, oh, I'm so impressed with what you taught my dog. I got a client that she wanted me to teach her dog to go in the pool because the dog was afraid to go in the pool. I taught her dog to go in the pool. And now she calls me up and says, my dog is diving in the pool. You know, th those kinds of things tell me I know what I'm talking about. I'm a good trainer. You know, I don't need ribbons to prove it. And it's all about me and Cookie having a good time together and, and having a good life together. And so we like Fast Cat. Now, but do nose work, do barn, barn hunts, do dock diving, or you know what, just go out and play with your dog. You don't have to participate in an official sport. Just go out and have fun with your dog, all right? Well, that's the message. Watch the two clips, leave a comment what you think, have a great day and, great day and be blessed and go play with your dog. Give your dog a hug and kiss for me. Praise God. <laughs>